So if I'm telling expressing that, what you'd like him to do, I would like you to give me some some love, like some affection. Um, acknowledge that I'm there. Do you know what I mean? Just, I don't know. I don't know what to say because, yeah, I don't know. Just, babe, babe, you're taking a fucking piss. <laughs> and you're laughing. Look. No, 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 of everything that I've just said in terms of, you know, the guy, her entertaining it on the emoji stuff, you're now telling her to ask me what she wants from me. when she... We're trying to make up, Paul. It's the makeup stage. Why are you dragging everything else back up? She is the one that is ruining our brand. Our brand? How is, what, how is, my, how is my Instagram got anything to do with you? Hmm. No, tell me, because you met me on the Instagram. Did you build my platform? Mm. Yeah, straight away. Mm. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with him, and that's what he's too possessive over that account. Do you want it? Because it has nothing to do with you. Mm. If you maybe you log me out and sign your name. If Paul, oh, no, 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 I need to get, no, no, I need this one. It's not yours. It's not, we don't have a brand. We're in a relationship. We don't have a brand. I'm Choma, you're Paul. When they book me for things, they don't say, oh, by the way, post with Paul. It has absolutely nothing to do with you, so stay out of it. Okay. I feel like okay. my Instagram knows. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've heard, I've heard. It sounds like they're competing. Not good, never a good. You shouldn't be competing with your partner. It, it, it doesn't matter who's initiating the, the, um, the competing. They should just, should just com shouldn't be competing. You should be a team. Paul met me on Instagram. Yeah, and he met you, he met you on Instagram. Now he has the cheek to complain. Like, this is really bad, really, really bad. It's just insecurity. It's obvious. It's insecurity. I know it, to the ladies it's coming off as misogynistic and all the rest of it, and that's fine. It probably is. But the root cause here is he's just afraid she's going to leave and find someone else. He loves her. Instagram. Can we deep that? Can we take that in? Like, he met me on this same platform he no longer wants me to post. This same platform that he doesn't like the way I carry myself was the same platform he came to me on. Is this making sense to anyone? Because I, I'm confused. He was in my DMs, and now all of a sudden I should stop responding to them. He was in the comments, he was liking the pictures. Now he doesn't even follow me. Let me give you a tiny bit of coaching now. There's a difference between a brand and a face of a brand, okay? Now, the guy behind the camera, that's the brand. Everything in front of it is the product. So I'm the product, so no, you're no, no, selling no. me. No, 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 now listen to this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a creator, right? I work with creatives. And what we do is we work with different products. Because you put, you take pictures, you're now part of a brand. Oh, do oh, they pay you no, for me? Is your name in the wait, email? Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Wait, let me finish. Let I don't think so. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. What, what Trump is not getting is that... Oh, my gosh. I'm speaking from a position of power. Do you understand? The position I'm in, I don't get stressed over, oh, does my makeup look nice, does I... Uh, like, does my hair look nice? I don't have hair. Do you see where I'm coming from? Now, at the end of the day, this is really, really a waste of my time, but do you know what? I'll no, 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 Let me finish, let me finish. Now, you fucking wasted my time today, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 this is awful. He's completely lost control. This is not alpha. This is not alpha. He's lost control. I mean, he's not doing anything wrong. I'm just saying he's lost control. I don't think he's being uh, aggressive in any particular way. Like, he's a guy, whatever. It's just man, uh, male energy. But uh, he has lost control. There's a show, right? With every show, behind the show... It's the curtains. You're not part of I'm the sorry. one that's pulling the fucking strings. You're not pulling but any strings. She can't see it. You're not pulling any strings. It's straight. over her head. You're taking pictures. She sees skittles like from, this, from the sky. She thinks it's natural. No, excuse she me. She doesn't know there's someone that's on top that's pouring the skittle. Uh, what excuse are you talking me. About? This, is, this is getting nobody anywhere. Exactly. And that's why, why the fuck I'm doing something that you have nothing to do with. You. <laughs> thank you and no thank you. What are you claiming? Can someone Where carry this equipment, please? Where are you going? Let him go. Fucking bullshit. How else I've got what the Do you see what do you see what I have to deal with? Show oh my up. god. <sighs> Just take a minute. It's interesting that you said that's also okay. Like if you don't feel comfortable having the conversation right now, probably not in that fashion, but if you want to go take five, that's okay. 
That's okay. Everyone deals with conflict differently. Some people don't want to talk at all. People want to talk and then perhaps take some space. And some people want to reconcile immediately. That's okay. Say that you require the man to look after you. What's your family background? My dad um, was always the breadwinner in the house. Um, he he looks after all of us. So he has five girls as well as his wife. So yeah, he that's that's how I was raised. He looked after us. He you know he was always going to work. He was always providing. On top of that, looking after my mom, buying her gifts. You know, taking care of her. Growing up. Okay, yeah, fine. But was he home all the time? Probably not. There's no way if he's providing for you. In the way that you want provide, uh, you want this gentleman Joseph to provide for you and all your sisters and your mother that he was there. You can't have it both ways. You can't hound Joseph for, to provide for you and then not allow him to go off and do what he needs to do. That's not okay, especially not to the extent that you want it to happen. With my dad, he treated me like a princess. He took me everywhere I needed to go. He bought me whatever I wanted. And he has taught me not to accept anything less. That is the standard that I've set for my partner. And what do you Yeah, you can't accept you can't expect someone to be your father or treat you like your father. It's a different kind of love. What do you take from those gifts? What do those gifts mean to you? For me, it just shows appreciation. It shows that you're fulfilling your role as a man. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's, that's how it makes me feel. Denise, I think the problem is not the gifts. It's the understanding about getting the gifts and when the gift, uh, gifts doesn't arrive. I feel like even with going on dates and stuff like that, she just wants to pick everything. It's almost like she's trying to be controlling. You know what I mean? Controlling because I'm choosing the restaurant. Yeah, you want to pick everywhere you want to go. You want to pick this, this, like even controlling my social media um, activity, even things that I want to wear. It's like you're trying to lay things on the bed. For That's he's okay. He's stretching it too far now. Like I'm doing it for the better. Like better for what better? You think I can't handle my own? I don't. I mean, some people could think of it as being cute, like controlling. I guess only you can decide in the relationship. I guess if you're not getting anything back and. She's she's passing her judgment on everything and it's all going her way, I guess. But like, is that deep? I don't know. Mm. It sounds like it is, actually. It sounds like she's being pretty controlling. One, Jamal to be embarrassing me. He likes to comment on girls' photos. You know, I laugh at girls that their man will be commenting on other girls' photos. I don't like That's not me being controlling. That's me saving myself from embarrassment. That's what it is. My problem is how Deborah behaves when she doesn't go away. It's just too sport brightish. Like... I get her age and stuff, but that's no excuse. Like, even when she tries to get her ways a bit too controlling for my liking. Like, I get she likes the flashy things of life and stuff like that, but that needs to get out the window now. And do you um, choose his clothes? I mean, sometimes. She can't choose my clothes. She tries to police. I think that's Sometimes. The you take my advice. There's a difference between advice and policing. We're not going to police my clothing. I've had enough of it. So, d b uh, what? Don't, don't worry. Denise, I mean, sorry. Also, this is this is completely normal when um, men feel threatened. Uh, not threatened, sorry. Men like freedom. Like, men need to go and process things in their mind and they like to do that alone. Men like to process things in their mind and in order to do that, they go off and be alone and sort of uh, do all the checks and balances and, and really understand what's going on. It's not um, outrageous that the guys have, have left. It's all normal behavior from the masculine energy.